the best of, eight students from across the country have been selected to travel to Florida for a two-day out-of-this-world adventure. I'm kind of jealous. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. So one of those students is from Bellevue. We're talking about 11-year-old Noelle, and she joins us now to tell us about this really big adventure ahead. Noelle, we are so excited for you. Nice to have you with us this morning. Thank you. So what is it like being part of the 2024 press squad for Space Kids Global? I'm really excited to go. I can't wait to see the rocket launch, and I hopefully get to meet an astronaut or two. I think you will be able to do that. So, Noelle, to get here, you had to beat out more than 1,000 other entries. Tell us, how did they test you? What questions did they ask you? They did a random drawing for 32 kids, and I made a video with my little sister. She was dressed up in an astronaut costume, and I interviewed her, and I guess I got picked. Well, good for you. You obviously put together a really cool video yeah. that uh, <laughs> caught the eyes of people that were selecting the kids for this. Uh, as we mentioned, we know that you're headed to Orlando to visit Blue Origins Rocket Park. Uh, may also see a rocket launch, I'm hearing, too. So what do you think that's going to be like if you get to see one? I'm really excited to be able to see it. Um, I've only seen them on TV before. Um, I saw one a couple years ago. It was really cool up close and personal mm -hmm. with the professionals. And so, Noelle, you're going to be receiving some training from a real space journalist. How do you feel about getting into our business someday? <laughs> Are you interested in being a journalist or a news anchor one day? Yeah, it would be really fun to be able to interview people and ask questions. What is it about space that fascinates you, Noelle? When I was really little, I used to um, look out my window and I could see some really bright stars. And when I looked on an app on my dad's phone, it showed that there were some of them were actually planets. Mm. And I thought that was really cool. That's really, really cool. And I think, um, who was it? Something happened over the weekend. I can't remember if it was somebody here or not, but they were saying that they saw the International Space Station pass by too. So that's out there mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So much cool stuff out there. It absolutely is yeah. awesome. So, so what would you say to other kids that might want to be a part of, you know, science and, and math and engineering and to get more, just to be a part of this industry, what advice would you give other kids who might want to apply for this in the future? I'd um, ask them if what they were interested in about space or that kind of stuff. And I tell them to um, research lots of things. Mm. I just get really excited about it. Do you have some like questions already formatted? Like, how, how do you think you're going to approach this? Are you going to like come in with a list of questions already and, and kind of ask them what's, you know, on your list? Are you going to like do some spur of the moment stuff? How do you think you're going to kind of approach the situation? I don't really know yet. I might ask some questions. I have a couple planned out already. Okay. okay. We'll figure it out as you go. That's what we do That's on the fly. That's what we do too, yeah. sometimes too. Yeah. Absolutely. So when do you go to Orlando? Um, we don't know when the rocket launch is. Okay. They give us at least a two days notice though. Okay, a two day Scramble notice. Scramble to get there, yeah. And I know you're gonna start school soon, uh, just apart from, from your, your new job as a space journalist, but do you have any favorite subjects or any, any uh, things you're looking forward to for the new school year? Um, I really like math. I hope I get an advanced math again this year. Um, I really like how you get to solve problems and figure out the answers. That's great. I'm just thinking about the future, you know, when we can talk with Noelle in maybe like, you know, 10 years or something, come back on the show uh -huh. and see where she's at, just starting her journalism career at a really young <laughs> age. I'm so excited for you. This is really, really cool. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and good. Oh, I'm go going to say have a great, great school year. I know you start tomorrow and not feeling too anxious, but no, she's just wish confident. there was a little bit more summer left. Yeah. Ready for advanced math. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Noelle. Thank you. Have fun. <laughs> what a cool, cool opportunity. Yeah. Just thinking at like 11 or 12 years old, you get a call and be like, all right, Blue Origin Space Launch is going to happen in two days. Get here. Right. Get there. You get to meet with the pros, ask them all these questions, see what they get to do. 
see the rocket launch would mm -hmm. be amazing. I mean, just to have that experience at such a young age right. is just amazing. With only two days, two days notice, and I love her advice also to to kids that might be interested in doing this in the future. You know, yeah. just do a lot of research and get excited about it. I feel like she's really excited and passionate, and that's why she's in those shoes. Already has a great love of math yeah. and appreciates looking at the stars and planets and all that, and <sighs> it's going to be a really good time. Advanced math sounds hard. No, math was never my subject. <laughs> Me neither. Good for Noelle. Yeah.